And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Undying Combat. Let's bring this deck back. It's been a while since I've played it. Um, and you know, want to get a Demacia deck in here. You know, this doesn't have a whole lot of Demacia, but still, uh, this is the champion less Undying uh, Combat deck. Um, you know, com with combat being like single combat to use with the Undying or Challenger with On Guard. Um, and then you know, like our top end, we got like a Tiana Crown Guard getting another attack in. Um, Atrocity lets us sacrifice the Undying. Of course, we have the combos with Chronicler of Ruin, Ethereal Remitter, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, pretty fun deck to play. A good deck against control. Very good against control. That's um, that's kind of like where the strength of our deck is, especially with this Undying card, because it, you know, you just can't get rid of it. So. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Um, we haven't had the best luck today, so let's change our board up. Let's go to... You know what? We haven't really used Garen's Might. We're switching it up. New board and new minion. I haven't used T-Hex in a long time either. So, Alright, let's, let's play a deck with no champions. It's a lot easier to put together for those y'all wanting to try that out at home. All right, and we're facing control deck with Dravenez. Um, Withering Whale's gone. And I guess I'm going to get rid of Radiant Guardian too, but Radiant Guardian can be really good against them with them uh, mostly looking to use damage-based removal. But I'll keep the Ethereal Remitter because that's just such a good combo with the Undying. And there we go. Found our two-drop. One point of damage. This Butcher was a perfect draw here. Give us some blockers. Let's do this. Which I guess we still can't block that thing. Oh, I probably should have redeemed shouldn't I? Yeah, we had a thing die. I should have redeemed her. Probably have a thing die, though. Right now, also. And if not, I can glimpse beyond. Probably should glimpse beyond anyway, but... Now we know our Redeemer's turned on. There we go. I like seeing that card. I can take out Draven, take out Ezreal. Got axes, need All right, let's get a random five drop. Maybe Radiant Guardian? Ugh, Troop of Elnux, I always get Troop of Elnux. I get this card like three times more than any other card. And this is this is probably the worst five drop, right? Like it's got to be the worst one. How do I get this one all the time? That has to be the worst five drop. Just a vanilla three three. Has to be the worst one. Dang, they still have five mana. That's a bad sign. Yeah, that's a bad sign. Noxian Guillotine's real good in this deck.
Yeah, I could remitter this for a random 7 drop, that's true. You know, I was, I was kind of thinking that I was just going to be getting another 5 drop, but maybe it would be better to get a random 7. The thing is, like, you get the random 5 for free, or you, like, turn this into a 7. Let's try to do this. Nice. There we go. Now they don't even they don't get the target for the get excited. out pretty well. Averrosen Hearthgar. That's a much, much better five drop. I will take that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the random seven drops are either. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Rekindler would not be a good one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the random seven drops really are. Alright, there's a jury rig. That's a blocker. I'm going down to two. Go to three. Be able to atrocity kill him. Kind of to see what happens. Probably not, though. Looks like they'll have more things. So, yeah, like they're going to nine. Um, How close are they to leveling up Ezreal? Four out of eight. This would give them three other Ezreal targets. I guess I give him the three Ezreal targets. Uh, stick Kali in this deck. Callista, Callista, okay. I was thinking like Katarina, I'm sorry. Uh, put Callista in this deck. Um, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, Callista definitely works in this deck for sure. Yeah, I mean, definitely works. We need to just have the Hearth Guard trigger again. Turn the Hearth Guard into a 5 5 and have that trigger again. Let's do that. Yeah, th yeah, I think Callista works very well. More Hearthguard Triggers. That will be number 8 for Ezreal. Don't really want Ezreal to get number 8.
So I'm going to atrocity, send this at their face. Yeah, I think the deck, the deck does work without the champion. So yeah, I would say, you know, you probably don't need to um, spend the wild cards on the Callistas. You know, it's kind of, you know, why why fix what it what's not broke? Um, if, it, if it's working without the Callistas, I think you're probably just good there and don't really need Callistas also. Okay. So Ezreal now is leveled up. Get rid of this blocker. We'll get our undying back. And we get to go to attacks. We only have two cards. Well, now, now three cards. Um, seems like this is going to go well for us. I'll be surprised if they can survive this. I'll be surprised. So yeah, as you can see, we're real good against control. These Undyings just don't, you know, you can't, you can't stop them. They had to Ezreal combo us that previous turn, and that's why I liked using the Atrocity. Keep them from Ezreal comboing us, or at least make it more difficult. Yeah, that was about to be an 8-8 Radiant Guardian. Yeah, that thing's never dying. Speaking of never dying, 8-8 <laughs> Radiant Guardians. Never dying. Iris Rhythm. Draven Teemo is a cool combination. Get rid of this atrocity. On guard could be good. We'll keep it. Oh, Rasa, you're a little expensive. You're a little expensive here. On guard can give us like a something to um kill like a Teemo and everything, especially how we attack on turn three. You know, like our turn two is Cursed Keeper plus Butcher. Turn three, we get to Challenger and then have a 4-4 and 3-2 Challenger. Could be nice. Could be a good setup. No blocks. Well, I'm not going to use an on guard against that thing. I'd just rather would attack for seven. So we'll save that for now. I also want to mind if they use removal here and, you know, let me play this glimpse beyond and try to draw in a couple more cards. Yeah, don't don't mind that too much. That's good. Shadow Isles is a good region. Kind of like how much nerf Shadow Isles has gotten. Now oh, it's still very good. Back in the day, Rasa cost seven.
Poor Noxus, though. Noxus probably the... Um, probably the region that needs the most help right now. <laughs> you miss seven mana, Raza. I think I want to Ethereal Remitter this Curse Keeper. Which I know that means that I'm not doing anything this turn, but we will have Remitter plus On Guard next turn. The Abomination also has CMC of two. That's pretty cool. Take Chump Lump. Chump Lump's a good four draw. Yeah, yeah, you always had to have the creature dive to trigger Rasa. Yeah, it, it was the exact same card, it just cost seven. It's, I'm pretty sure power and toughness were the same. I guess I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure the power and toughness were the same also. Alright, so they got four cards and a bunch of spinning axes. I have five cards and a couple sh mushroom clouds. Gotta make sure we stay alive. Ow. Withering, Withering Whales can do a good job of that. Um... These are play triggers. Like if I if I kill the ethereal remitter, we don't get another ethereal remitter trigger. By playing Chronicler of Ruin instead of Remitter, I do get to keep Glimpse Beyond available. Um, and next turn. Oh, I only have nine mana next turn. I thought I was gonna have enough for both Withering Whales. Well, this is actually a problem. I'm at five. And they could definitely kill me. So I'm supposed to play with hold Withering Whale up instead of Chronicler? Yeah, all they need is Mystic Shot, get excited. I mean, they only have two cards though, so it's gotta be unlikely they have Mystic Shot, get excited out of two cards. But that's all they need. Add one more mana and I could play both Withering Whales next turn. Ooh, perfect. It's good, so I don't die to another Decimate.
can't just play my Withering Will because they can respond to that with a Burn Spell. Okay, go up to two at least. Sorry, Butters, I'm not not planning on doing that. Not. Um. If I play this, I have six mana. So I can still, you know, I'll still be able to play Withering Whale. I guess we can cast two of them. Yeah, we can just cast two of them. Maybe they draw four puff caps. This will still give me enough mana to be able to play both Withering Whales next turn. What, Seymour? You just killed your opponent with a 1918 Elusive Poro? With the six drop. These mushroom clouds are scary. I have the, the backup Withering Whale, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. You're playing Karma to buff your Poros even more? How does that work? How do your Poros get more of a buff with Karma? I'm not saying they don't, I'm just, I'm just wondering how that works. Uh, I don't like this. I had a Mystic Shot. Only one more card. Please don't be another Mystic Shot or get excited. Not a good attack. I mean, that's just not a good attack, right? I just untap and attack for four now. They need to have these two blockers on my two four power. That was not a good attack. If I play something, they could have they could draw. I guess if I don't play anything, they could draw a burn spell to kill this. But if I do play something, then they could draw. Um, like they could have had the three drop, three mana, three two that brings two O ones into play. Also, and I kind of figured if they use a burn spell to kill that, that's one less burn spell they have to kill me. And then we would be playing the Radiant Guardian also. That was close. I'm sorry, Fat Butters, but no. I'm sorry. All right, standalone. And of course, we hope they do not have the actual card standalone. Attack in. Well, 
I wanted to have the single combat mana available to be able to use. No. No, just don't have that card. I really like this Vile Feast draw. That was a really good draw. I like that draw. Attack for seven. Awesome. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wrong spot. Three, no. Beat, beat standalone. They needed a little, you know, like one other defensive element, you know, like another creature to block or, you know, lifesteal barrier or something like that. Um, you know, bounce spell. Anything like that, you know, even deny would have saved their 2 1. They, they just didn't have, you know, they just played the Relentless Pursuit, nothing else. Sorry, Bob Fish, Bob Fish, I just saw your uh, question. The Starlit Stompy deck is um, Starlit, Starlit Seer with um, getting the link here. Starlit Seer with like being kind of aggressive with. Uh, Draven and Cato the Arm. Braum, it has Braum in it. I feel like Braum plus Cato the Arm could be like a pretty cool combination. So kind of trying that out. Uh, let's just get rid of all this stuff. We'll keep the Butcher. Yuck. No, I want Curse Keeper. Undying Curse Keeper. Oh no. I guess we trade here. Trading there means that don't have like a creature for Fiora to kill. Or Laurent Protégé. This 
This is a lot worse. It's a lot worse whenever we don't have either Cursed Keeper or the Undying. So I was planning on playing Radiant Guardian here, but now with the Garen, I think I think my best plan is to set up for Ruination. I'm being super greedy. Why do people never play into your ruination? They just never do. So mean. Never play into your ruination. Now we got Radiant Guardian and we have single combat. Try to kill the Fiora. Hope they don't have Prismatic Barrier. Or a single combat of their own. Definitely gonna have to Rasa. Ross would only kill Fiora and Scythria and not the Garen. That Garen's still going to be a huge problem. What kind of 10 drops are, are available? If I remit her Rasa, what kind of 10 drops are available? No, that doesn't, no, that doesn't look like a judgment. They're just all good attacks. 
I wish I had one more mana. I wish I could Vile Feast and then Rasa, but they just play other crappy cards. Like some, some bad creature if I try Vile Feasting. Plaza Guardian, Scuttlegeist, and She Who Wanders. Those aren't great. Nine drops are where it's at. Okay. It's not bad. What did I say? So Plaza Guardian would just be a 6-6, so the same thing. It would still kill Garen and be I guess I guess that's actually better. Scuttle Guys is a 5-5, that's worse. But She Who Wanders is a 10-10, that's a lot better. Alright, let's hit She Who Wanders. Yeah. What's up? What's up, 10-10? There's nothing that costs 12. That's why we need to keep our Vile Feast. Be able to barrier that, or be able to get rid of that barrier. So good news is Garen's out of here. Bad news is they still have a whole lot better battlefield. They get another elite in hand. They're still in a ton of trouble. I guess they can go straight to attacks and kill me also. That's also bad news. Well, that was a good match. Um, I was greedy, like with the. I was greedy with the sweep with the the sweeper that one turn. I was really hoping they would play one other thing. They didn't. Uh, maybe if I would have just cast the sweeper and and just killed the. The two things that turn. I don't know. Maybe maybe that would have been a little bit different. But maybe not either. I'm not sure. Garen's pretty good. But, you know, like with that game, we did nothing for a long time, and that, that's obviously what, what killed us, you know, without having, uh, you know, like we, we just had nothing to do for like the turns like two through four. It was pretty rough. Here. 
All right, playing the same deck. Fleet Feather Tracker. Good card. So I'm I'm pretty sure we can assume a Fleet Feather Tracker is you know, like we're, we can we can assume this Ravenous Butcher is gonna die and then we can play the Redeemer and draw a card post combat. It's a very fair assumption. If I'm them, I just don't even attack with this tracker and don't make this trade, and I just just attack for for five. If I'm them, all right, gotta stand united. Let's go. Now their play looks pretty good since I drew Withering Whale. Makes their play look better. Huh. Funsmith. I kind of forgot this card existed. Drawing a little face on, on I don't know, what are these ping pong balls or something? I kind of forgot that card existed. So now this does two to all enemy units. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I hope they don't, you know, single combat it in response. I mean, that's... That's like the only thing they could have to stop a whale doing two damage. Surprised they had nothing to play last turn. Like, what's what's in their hand that they had nothing to play last turn? They gotta have like, well, like denies. They had eight. They had this was all filled up and the five mana, and they just did nothing last turn. They're gonna do this plus rally. I guess they're doing that plus rally. That's not going to kill me. But now we have lethal. Let's see. I guess it's not. I guess it's not lethal. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, it is. He's right. This does this does an extra point of damage, so he can undying kill that. As long as you know they kind of tap out.
I don't want to tap under the six man. I want to have this available. I could have dealt another four by, by doing the stand united. Okay. Let's draw a couple more just in case. I'm just going to play this Razo. That's going to end the game. Don't have to worry about deny. Because even if they deny that, um, you know, they're they're dead. Even if they had to, you know, they deny that trigger. Because then they can't give their thing elusive or anything like that. So we're good. All right, but there we go. Undying combat. We went uh, four and one. Uh, you know, only just the one loss to the Demacia deck, um, you know, too aggressive for us, which can happen. We're not very good at blocking, um, but yeah, that game we had no, you know, no Curse Keeper, no one dying, no Mage Seeker Conservator. Um, you know, it was just a pretty gross game that we, we didn't do anything for a long time. Um, but yeah, uh, this is just a good deck. You know, like, this is a pretty solid one. Um, we didn't really play against... Uh, we didn't play against Ez Karma or Karina Control, the two best decks. So we didn't really match it up there. But uh, yeah, there's, there's, this is still just, it's a solid deck. There's no champions, um, just a few epics. You know, like, I mean, there is a good amount of epics, I guess. There's a Rasa, a Tiana, a Ruination, and the Undyings are epics as well. So, you know, you're, at, you're looking at like six epics. Um, but still, this isn't, you know, this is a pretty budget friendly deck. And pretty good deck as well all right those y'all watch on youtube hit that like button over there and let me know how you're doing with this deck if you've been playing it yourself i always like seeing those comments um but thank you so much for watching some undying combat and i'll see you for the next video